This is what I call a secret switch. And if I pull it like this, I'll find myself in the back rooms of Brookhaven. There's a lot of stuff in here, like planes, Mr. Brookhaven, and even the agency's secret base. That was only one of the secret places I'll be showing in today's video. The first one I'm gonna show is at the airport. This place has been here a while, so this one's an oldie. Just go right into the airplane like this. You'll find a secret passage right here in the restrooms. Oh no! We caught someone in the middle of using it. In any way, it's right behind the toilet. You can just jump right into it. It's pretty cramped up. There's not much room in there. But I guess it's still a nice hiding space. The next one you probably already know. But I still have to include it. Because it's still really cool. In the cemetery right in front of this tombstone. You'll find a fake floor with a whole coffin right there. Now if you go into the second floor of the hospital through the broken window. Go into this room and you'll find an agency paper that burns as you click it. After that go into the library and jump on top of these shelves. Then you'll be able to grab this secret red book. You can now go to Brookhaven's museum. Here you just use the book on this empty display. And with that you'll make a ghost show up right here. If you didn't know about that, this guy is actually the creator of the agency. Let's go back to the cemetery since if we go right behind that same tombstone, you'll find a little message only after you've done this secret. Creator of the agency. We can even have a closer look into that coffin and we'll find an agency symbol on one of the sides. That means that the creator of the agency isn't even with us any longer. He's probably here in this coffin. If you click it, you'll even hear sounds of someone trying to get out of it. For our next secret location, we'll need a whole secret key. You'll be able to find it right next to the barn. Just go to the end of the fence right over here where this brown rectangle is. The only problem is that it's buried underground and we'll need to dig it out of there. So go and grab yourself a shovel and just start digging like your life depended on it. Almost forgot. It also needs to be 6 a.m. in Brookhaven for that. While I'm digging, you'll see a bunch of comments from the subs passing through your screen. And if you want to show up on the next one comment, a dog emoji. While we're on this topic, I actually have something to tell all of you. I want each one of you to stop what you're doing right now and go vote on Nando and iBest. I'm basically competing to be the best games content creator of Brazil. I already voted. Just like that. I want to see everyone voting because if I get first, I'll be giving away a bunch of Robux to you guys. All you need to do is click on the link pinned on the comments below. Now now let's go back to finding some secret places around Brookhaven. After a little while of digging, you'll start hearing crow sounds in the game. Which is weird since there's no crows in Brookhaven. I've never even really seen any birds. It even shows up on the fence after a while. That makes him a secret animal, but I also got the key. It's really a green card. Since we already got all that we need to grab a notebook now. After a little bit, this message from the agency will show up on the screen. The book needs you to follow it in everything. It knows what is best and you do not. Follow it blindly and do exactly what it says. Agency. So we actually got contacted by the agency. It's also telling us to follow a book blindly? What does that even mean? Maybe they're talking about that red book we got in the library? Now if we go here beside the food mart, you'll find this secret passage with an agency bunker in it. You probably already know this place, but we can now use this secret card inside this here. Pay attention to the message up here. It seems like we got an error 823. And if we grab the card and use it on this thing. You'll hear a sound and it'll turn blue. It should have worked and to confirm it that message will also change. As you can see it's written key card accepted. Then if you look beneath this thing you'll find an orange button. That is you click it. Well apparently nothing happens. Something should have happened. I'm not sure what to do now. So if anyone in the comments can help me out, I would love to know. This mansion has recently been added to the game. Because of that, most people don't know where it's safe is yet. It's quite simple, really. You just need to click this golden statue, and you'll be teleported straight to the safe. Then just click the button above, and you'll be teleported back up. Brookhaven Bank actually hides some places from us. Our first one is right beside the bank's own sign. To go into it, we just need to place a bed on this wall and lie on it. When you do that, you'll find yourself in this bizarre corridor. Something very interesting we can find inside here is the back side of the ATM machine. Just look at how bugged he really is from here. To get out, you just do the same trick, but from the inside out. For the next secret place, we'll need this light green card. It's the one that lets you get right next to the vault. Now just grab a C4 and blow it to smithereens. With that, you've opened up the bank's vault. The secret place I'm talking about is right above this room. With a bed, we can find this room with a low ceiling. I'm not sure if this was on purpose or a bug, but I still find it quite interesting. What would happen if I place a bed on top of this place now? Will it take us to the back rooms? The next secret place I'll be showing is the most secret of them all. 
To find it, you need to go behind the airport next to this ramp right here. You'll just need to get a bed right over here on this exact corner of the ramp. Because if you place it wrong, you may see it, but won't be able to get into it. And this is how this place looks. It's like a secret nook you can hide yourself in the map. This place is so secret that I'm having trouble getting into it. I tried a bunch, but nothing seems to work. Good luck to anyone trying to go in there. You can tell me in the comments if that worked out for you. And explain it to me as well. For this one, we'll need an apartment. Not only that, but a penthouse one at that. We need to grab this one. The skate shop. The secret place isn't on the inside, but on the roof with this skate park. If we go and place a bed right on the side of this one. As we lie on it, you'll find yourself in this weird little room. Look at that. Beyond that, we can also just walk into this wall over here. Which is the easier way into it, really. There's three more secret places. One at the police station. One beneath Brookhaven's arches and another on Mr. Brookhaven's abandoned house. One little problem, though. All of those are locked up right now, and I can't get into them. To unlock those, it's simple. Let's go back into that secret agency bunker. In here, we'll need to click some buttons. Just light all of these things up. You can practically say that they open each one of those passages. We can start at the police station, where before there was nothing, but now we have a small room with a film reel that I can explain later on. All that you need to know is the code written on it. Now, if we go back to the arch, we'll finally be able to get into this place. Here, we'll find another film reel in this very weird room. And at Mr. Brookhaven's house, we'll find this thing open now where it wasn't before. With even another one of those film reels here. If you don't know anything about those, I'll explain it right now. For those, we'll go into the mall and straight into the cinema. Go into it and then into the projector room. At this enter code, we'll be able to input something, which is the code on the reels we found. I'll place the first one here and let's see it on the big screen. Each of the reels tell a story inside our lovely town. The first one tells Mr. Brookhaven's story and how he was being hunted by the agency. The second one shows us how the city grew and how Mr. Brookhaven built it himself. The third one is the life story of Mr. Brookhaven, where he lived and all he did to finally found his town. It's also where he found the crystals that are a part of a bunch of this city's mysteries. Those are always cool if you want to get into the town's history. But that's gonna have to be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more. Comment down below any other secret place that I haven't gotten to in this video. And don't forget to vote in the pinned comment below at iBest so I can maybe win the best games content creator in Brazil.